Good afternoon, and I am come back. Uh, in this video, I would like to show uh, the fine tuning how to use the initial configurations for the switches and how to use the VTP modes and the VLANing. Because the switches, you know, has the special file VLAN dot dot. Yeah, it's a, which is save it into into the flash. Yeah, it's a but uh, it we cannot to export it. Yeah, it's a, but uh, in this video, I will show you how to tune it. So we created previously one lab which is serials and I tuned the two switches are here. Look at this. And I exported the configurations which appeared here. And the our goal is that the switch one will be VTP mode server, VTP domain and VTP password. So let's do and I recommend to do this at the end and at the end of configuration. So I'm going VTP mode server just one, one left uh, VTP password uh, so VTP domain uh, CCIE and VTP password UNL nice the same uh, and as it is a server as it is a server we need a VLANs to add let's say VLAN 10 20 30 just be just because yeah it's, you can add these VLANs here and it, it will load like a configuration and uh, this option will create all your necessary things in your VLAN dot file so I did the switch one configuration and I would like to see the switch two as a client so I'm copying this one and I'm just saying it will be client that's it VTP mode client domain UNL and the password VLANs you cannot add because the client client mode is do not accept to adding the VLANs so we have tuned the SV1 look at this so we have VTP mode domain password and the VLANs VLANs which you need in your configuration. I configured it before the trunks between two switches, the same as an opposite side in a switch two. You're gonna see the trunks and I tuned this configuration manually and I'm saying to save. Now I'm saying to wipe my two switches and we'll let's start. So switch is wiped and I'm starting my, yeah, you, it's a very interesting option. Uh, that's, uh, this one button is a free select. I'm clicking on this free select. It's uh, becoming red and I'm saying click and click. And I would like to start these two nodes and I'm starting. Start all. Then when it's finished, it, just click on this button and you are back to the normal, uh, normal option. So it's I'm going to inside of the switches and let's check how it looks now. They're booting pretty fast. Enable show VLANs. You can see the VLANs we have. It's a 1020. Yeah, it's a, it is added in my initial configuration. Show VTP status. You can see it is a server. It is a CCIE domain. Show VTP password. And the password is UNL, which I configured before. Uh, let's check the second switch. Show VLANs. You can see the VLANs appear. It even VLANs was not here because it's client mode. Now your VTP works very fine here. Show VTP status. You can see the mode is client, domain is CCIE, and show VTP password. Password is UNL. Done. Such how you can tune your labs without any VLAN that you can adjust one switch which is server you can tune with all VLANs the other switches you can tune with uh, VTP mode client and if trunks are configured and then properly the passwords and domain your your other clients will get the all VLANs uh, VLANs from the server the same way it works for VIFS layer 2 switches um, I'm not tested, but I think it will work. Yeah, it will work as well for uh, Dynamips uh, 3725. But these two guys are IOU, IOL switches, and interconnecting even together with uh, VIOS, this option will work. So I think it was informative for you, and thank you for viewing.